Hello and welcome to to welcome. Hello and welcome. Can't talk. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tarot page. You are watching the June 2022 general readings for the sign of Aquarius, the water bearer. And what we will do here, we will divide the reading into areas so it is easier to understand and you normally also get more out of it. And these areas will be the overall energy for the month of June. And before we then look into your um, emotional core, and that means looking at what can heal, what can go, if there's trauma that can be released, or maybe uh, whether or not there's love coming in. Before we then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2022. Now, you have probably noticed if you are um, a subscriber. If not, press that button now. Have you done it? Good. Do it now. <laughs> That's what he's was thinking. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Do it now. So anyway, um, so subscribe to the channel. And so um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, if you have watched this video before, you will notice that this is not my house. This is much more beautiful, much more tidy, much cleaner. Right? I'm not knocking where I live and how I have my house, but it's just not in order. And this is just awesome. Anyway, <laughs> I'm with my friend Ellen Cook. And um, she is an artist and an amazing artist as well. I mean, look at all this artwork. It's amazing. And I'm not known for flattery, right? I'm very outspoken, but this really is awesome. And the reason why I'm so happy about this is because this will be part of a card deck that we're collaborating on. Um, you know, a, a spirit animal guide card deck of sorts. And that will be the artwork and I will be uh, um, providing the messages for the animals that are ultimately chosen. Um, and in order to get all this done, we will start a Kickstarter uh, very soon. And um, in order for you to pledge and find out what this is about, please subscribe to the channel, like I already said. Um, and then you can watch when the Kickstarter has been done. There will be a video about this. Um, please, please, please support our work. And also it's going to be bloody awesome to have a deck that is not widely available yet. yet. <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Give it time. Give it time. <laughs> right. I don't know if I already mentioned what we do here. Did I say we were dividing um, the, 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 the video? I can't remember. Can't remember either. <laughs> so, anyway, what we do is we look into three different areas. Let's just cut it all. <laughs> because I have no idea. What so right now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of June 2022, for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. So the card that came out was the Forest Temple for Enlightenment. Um, and what this is saying, this has actually come out for a, a, a different sign that we read for this, uh, this month, but this has got a slightly different feel to it for Aquarius. And it feels a little bit more like you need to be looking inwards for enlightenment. This, this Forest Temple feel means that there's kind of a, a quiet space, a, 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 almost a sacred space within you where you need to be just just resting there a little bit and see, 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 seeking, seeking <laughs> or searching, whichever you prefer, uh, for the answers within yourself. Because you can trust yourself for enlightenment and that's a little bit what this month is going to be about. Trust yourself and you will come to the right conclusions. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And the emotional core that we're now looking into, the card that fell down, not just out, but fell down, just to make me bend and, you know, do my exercise, <laughs> is grounding. And that makes a lot of sense, mm -hmm. uh, because um, it's not that Aquarius is a sign that is ungrounded, but as an air sign, at times, you can be like uh, a leaf in the wind, um, especially when you're not sure what's going on. So grounding yourself, um, in a way, rooting yourself, is really, really important um, for you to actually figure out what it is you ought to explore. Um, and I'm getting this internally. So with regards to grounding, they're not asking you uh, to be grounded so you can deal with trauma. That is not coming up here at all. It just feels like uh, when you're all over the place, you cannot assess how you truly feel. And I think, and generally speaking, at least what I'm getting is, um, it makes or would make a lot of sense to you um, if you were a bit more sure about what you feel, also about what you feel about yourself, because grounding is a is an inside job, if that makes sense. So it's really you 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 are grounding yourself, you allowing yourself, you are grounded. You demand 
that you are being grounded is all something that you have to uh, instigate almost. And so uh, taking charge, being in control, looking at why you are over the place, if that makes sense, but looking at it from a, from a calm place is really, really important, right? So, a bit of a strange thing with the, with the, with the um, emotional core. Not what normally happens, but this is the energy um, well, they gave me. And now we're looking at opportunities for the months of June 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. And uh, the deck's gone a bit mad on this one. We've got four cards. <laughs> but it's interesting because you've got the grounded card here. And I think you probably need that because this looks like a little bit of a whirlwind coming up for you, potentially financially. We're starting with the B spirit, which is prosperity. So that sounds like things are all quite nice and stable to start off with. We then head straight into the storm spirit, which is chaos. Um, so it sounds like there might be a little bit of a hiccup, um, you know, sort of in the middle of the month, maybe. June obviously is a, it's a summer month. We're talking about holidays. There's, there tends to be lots of bills and that kind of thing coming in, and things that you want. You know, do you, do you want that, that jacuzzi for the garden or whatever it happens to be? There's there's potentially unexpected expenses, and that's where this chaos thing might come in. What we've got next is the butterfly spirit, which is about transformation. So there's a, a point where this chaos resolves itself into something that actually is going to go a lot better, and we end up with the wild rose fairy, which is love. So I think that sounds like it, it's, you know, don't panic about what's going on here. There's there's a, going to be a hiccup, it sounds like, in the middle of the month. But actually, it, it's going to kind of resolve itself fairly, fairly nicely at the end of it. Um, and in this case, because we're talking about uh, finances, material things, love doesn't necessarily mean romantic love. It just might mean a place where you're actually, you, you know, you're feeling like that you are quite loving and, and lovable things are happening. So it's a it's a positive end despite that kind of hiccupy bit in the middle. So uh, don't don't lose faith, keep yourself grounded, as Thomas said. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's all we have time for. Remember, please like, subscribe and share. It is so, so important because this is a free service. So all we're asking you in return is to actually share the videos widely. Don't give me that crap like, oh, my friends aren't blah, 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 Stein. I don't care. Just keep sharing, right? Because I used to record these videos uh, for all star signs that people used to share them much more widely mm. um, but more people actually have said that they actually enjoy that format longer format so I feel like it's sort of being held from them if that makes sense and the other one that I have because I upload them often from my pages on Facebook that when you then want to share it in spiritual pages um, I would have to share 12 videos and oftentimes the uh, Facebook doesn't let me so there's limitations to what I can do, which is why I'm asking you if this video uh, resonates with you. Please, please share it widely. You never know um, what other uh, Aquarian um, actually finds it and hopefully gets some much needed guidance. And the other thing you can do is you can buy Thomas a coffee. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Almost forgot to mention it. <laughs> if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I would really, really appreciate it because I love my coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. See you later.